So, for the people out there that don't know, introduce yourself and let them know how long you've been in the game. My name is Senda Kid. I'm from Portugal. I'm a rapper slash producer, creative person, and I've been doing this since almost 30 years and still doing it. What, what drives you, man? When you get up in the morning, what, what drives you to keep going? To me, it's natural. It's, it's just something that comes out daily because I feel like I'm a sponge all of the time. I never s switch off the creative button. So even when I'm on the bed, I'm thinking about the tomorrow ideas and there's always something to do, albums to make with some other artists. So there's always something to do. There, there, there is not a day that I'm like, I have nothing to do, no. There's always a beat, always a rhyme. I have a, a few uh, ways of showing my, my, creati my creativity. Right. If you look at hip hop, right, it's a very few who are able to be an MC and be a producer at the same time and be good at it. You know, even when Kanye first started, a lot of his peers, a lot of people was telling him, stick to producing. You know what I'm saying? What do you credit that to, that you were able to walk the fine line and balance both? To me, making beats was uh, a necessity for the MC in me. Uh, I wanted to be a, a rapper, I wanted to make songs, and I didn't know nobody who made beats. In my area, I didn't have friends in, in, the, in those times nowadays. Everybody makes beats. So it was a necessity, something that I, I had to do. Uh, and really slowly, I, I was evolving and finding my, my identity. Of course, at first, you try to copy your idols, you know, make DJ Premier type of beats. But then you, you find your, your, your own style. So I'm glad that I got the respect on both sides. I never catch that flag of not being respected as a rapper or, or as a producer. Because I, I, I'm always releasing uh, albums as a rapper and as a producer, instrumental albums as well. So I'm good. Dope. How long have you been with TuneCore? I've been with, with TuneCore since uh, 2018. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm late, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. It's, it's, uh, if I knew how it was, I, I should, should have done it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. When I hear some tracks, or oh, you rap too, so maybe you agree, maybe you don't. But when I hear certain tracks, I gotta say, okay, let me come up with an idea to this track. Then I hear a different track and automatically all the ideas come to me. It's almost like the beat writes the rhyme for me, it comes naturally. I'm gonna be honest with you, when I heard your beats, I had the same experience. This is before I even met you. When I heard your beats, so many rhymes popped in my head, back to back to back to back, like. So you're that type of producer to me, you know what I mean? Thank you. Man. Um, what do you think it is that that makes it like that? You know what I mean? Some producers, they make beats that's it's hard to write to the shit. Yes. You got guys like you who actually inspire the artists without giving direction, just the music alone. It's inspiration. I think that the fact that, that I'm a rapper as well, it makes the, all the difference. Mm. Because uh, depending on which rapper I'm working, if I'm doing a whole album with him, if he's, if he's more quiet type of guy, I have to give him beats with, with more space. <laughs> because the most important to me is always the rapper. To me, the, the beat is, is super important, but what he's saying has to be up front. He has to shine. The beat cannot kill him, you know? It's not, <laughs> yeah, and sometimes producers who are not rappers, they want to shine themselves more than the rapper. Wow. Yeah. You know? That's deep. That's even, even, in deep. The, even in the mixing, they're like, no, put, 
with my snare up. <laughs> and I'm, I'm the reverse. I'm like, no, no, let the man shine. Let the man shine. Yeah. I heard, I heard, um, I think Nas said that before, man. He said, you know, he'd rather a certain kind of beat so the lyrics can shine. He'd rather the beat be simple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes simple is good. Sometimes yes. simple is better. And I have a few songs that mm. if I show the beat to, if I want to pitch the, the idea, I know that nobody would pick. And, and then I rhymed on it and, and made it a classic in, in my right, in my country. Right. Because sometimes people they, they don't see the, the the idea and they don't don't see that sometimes the the concept of the song and what you are doing, that's what makes the song. You you you, you understand like the beat. Of course, it's important. But sometimes when people come to you, they want that smash, you know, they want, they don't want that, right. that album cut, the number seven song, you know, the, <laughs> that, and that is important as, as very, well. Very, very important. Yeah. Sometimes nowadays, man, that number seven cut is what gravitates people to your project. Yeah. That's, that's the one that catches people's attention, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think everybody's searching for a certain kind of record. Sometimes you just gotta be yourself, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no that's, what, that's what makes it, that's what makes it dope. And you have great concepts, you, like the, you. the law library, the even the obituary kind. Of, right. That, that's your 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 concepts. That, of course, the beat matters, but what shines is the concept. You, mm -hmm. you understand? Right. But for me, man, I'm be honest with you. You know, my life experiences are what inspire my music, but. No library, if I remember correctly, it was the beat, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, as soon as I heard it, it was like, it just came to me. Yeah. Like, with the right production sometimes, it inspires you as an artist. Yes, yes, yes. Or, should I say, it, it just opens up your mind, and you like, yeah. it makes you think. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, yes, yes and, yes. and, you know, when I heard your music, man, I was like, who the fuck is this, man? <laughs> I heard one, then I heard two, I'm like, I heard three, I said, he did it again. <laughs> so. I salute you on that, brother. Yeah, man, making thank that, you. you know that that real quality production, man. And do do you ever question yourself about how you're going to approach the beat performance-wise, like pitch-wise, or or it, it comes natural to you? Um, you understand? Like, yeah. Am I going to be like smooth, or I'm going to attack it? Yeah, I can answer that. Um, when I was younger. I didn't give a fuck. I was just like, yo, I gotta let him know I'm nice. Yeah. I'm, I just gotta go. I was always on go. So that was the last thing I, came, I cared about. I just wanted to get my lyrics out. But as I got more experience in the game and I started learning about your tone and different ways to approach different beats, and you started to hear me more, you, you hear me calm down on certain tracks. Yes. You know what I mean? I've been doing it for a while now. And um, so to answer your question, yes. You know what I mean? I definitely you know, switch up my pace, my tone, um, just everything on the, on the track. Because when you make uh, w when you have that type of knowledge and you lose the naiveness of of, of the natural part of you, it, it makes you uh, makes a, a, a doubt in the air. Like, and it, sometimes I even ask the engineer or something, does it sound good to you like this or more <laughs> more laid back? Right, right. Because uh, I th I think it's important. Like you can see even in Biggie, like the, the first times were my the, the hunger, ah, mm -hmm. I pitch. Then the second album is more controlled. More controlled, right. You know what I, I noticed too? Uh, even when I was younger, I got in the studio with AZ. I know, I, 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 I have your first line on that. Right, the, the, right. The, the, the alphabet and beside AZ okay. with, with Cool G Rap. So you know, now, yeah. I'm, now I'm gonna tell you a story from that. Like you said, it was one side was Thug Connection featuring AZ and Cool G Rap. Yeah. The flip side was Alphabetical Slaughter. Yeah. So AZ came in the studio, we was mixing, the record that he was on, and the producer at the time was like, yo, let's play him the B-side so he can hear it, which is Alphabetical Slaughter. When Alphabetical Slaughter went off, <laughs> AZ was like, God damn. He said, yo, you gotta slow down. He said, yo, they like babies, man. You gotta give it to them slow. I didn't listen to him at the time, because yeah. I was like, man, fuck that. I'm gonna kill everything. Yeah. But it stayed in the back of my mind. Yes. And then as I got older in the game, if you notice when you see me on Instagram, I'm in the car, I'm talking to him real slow. Yes. I, I calmed it down a lot. And you know what? It worked because 
I used to scare a lot of rappers away. They didn't want to do song with me. They're like, this nigga crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't that I'm trying to kill him on the track. It's just that I'm ambitious and I got a lot to say. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I started dumbing it down a little bit. Yeah. And then I started to be able to work with more people and more people understand. I still kept the substance in there. I'm never going to take that out. Yeah. But I calmed it down, like you said, controlled a little bit. So. Just a, a, personal, <laughs> a personal question about the, the al alphabet slaughter. Uh, did you ever heard at the same time the, the Black Alicia's one? Well, that came after mine. That came after yours, right? Yeah, absolutely. That came yeah. after me. Mine's came out. Yeah. Look what you just said. Yeah. Thug Connection. That was way yeah, yeah, back yeah. then. What year was that? <sighs> That's the 90s. A lot of people don't know that. They think Alphabetical Slaughter came out with K Slate. Yeah, no, no. Me and K Slate, we redid it. Yeah, I know. When I got with Slate, because he loved it so much. But that record was out in the 90s. I'll tell you this. Alphabetical Slaughter is a, a, it's like a myth or a legend. Yes. I, I had it from A to C, yeah. and I was doing that in 1993. You know and what I mean? You did it backwards. Did it backwards eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer your question, you know, rest in peace yeah. uh, to him. I know yeah. he passed away. Yeah, but gift, gift of God. Yeah, Alphabetical Slaughter came out way before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he came out with his, I seen when it came out. Okay. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, but mine's came out way before. A lot of people, I've never spoke on that before. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know, mine's came out first, early 90s. Yeah. And it's a crazy concept, it's a classic. No, it is. A lot of people tried it, yeah. you know what I mean? A lot of people like, yo, let me do it. But like I said, it has to be in alphabetical order on paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Perfect. You got experience, you know what I mean? You, you've been able to walk the fine line between being an MC and doing production. Yeah. If, if somebody is out there and they want to get in this game or you know, they feeling discouraged. What, what advice would you give them? Uh, what works for me sometimes doesn't work for, for everybody. I'm the type of, of person that I just want to live happy with not much stress. So what I'm saying is the, the cliche of, uh, how do you say, the um, no expectations, no disappointments, you know, so so that's me. I never forget why I make music. I make music because I just want to create what I, I imagined. And then I put it out to the world. And then if people like it, better. But to me, that's a consequence of what makes me happy. You know, I understand sometimes people who, who, who put their ambition so, so, so hard. And, and I, 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 I don't knock that, it's to each his own. But I see what the aftermath of that, when people are really disappointed and all, 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 almost depressed <laughs> because their plan didn't go as, as they wished. So f for me, it's like just, do your music and eventually if you believe in it it can it can grow and, and appreciate the small steps it's beautiful just to you know sometimes people want the elevator i want what, what he has okay. no but he's there but he maybe he was step by step yeah. and now nowadays lots of young people they they have that hunger, the, the, they want the, the quick success. And to me, that I, I, I went from step by step, I feel that it's so much, uh, you feel so much better because mm -hmm. of, of all the, the struggle that you had to, 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 to get where, where you went. Right. It's, it's really, that's, so, that's my advice. Uh, take it slow, take it easy. Don't don't lose your 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 ambition, but right. just stay focused and do what makes you happy. You know? No doubt. I like one of the things you said, man. You said some of the things that that I, that I imagine. You know what I mean? I put it in my music. Yeah. I like that because um, you know, I hear some people say, you know, these artists, you know, they talk about and rap about things that they don't live or they rap. Let me explain something to you. I come from the struggle, I come from the ghetto, I come from the hard times. I've been through all of that. I speak about my experiences without a doubt. But I don't knock a person who does who have who hasn't came from where I came from. Yes. 
and they, they speak about different things. I think part of what's wrong with the craft today is that they put artists in a box and say, oh, talk about your life. No, it's okay to use your imagination. The cre it's called creativity. <laughs> it's called being creative. Yeah. And I think people don't pay attention to the craft enough yeah. to the point where they allow artists to be artistic and be creative. Yeah. Yes. It's, you don't only have to talk about, everyone hasn't, everyone didn't come from where you came from as a person. So you can't expect them, oh, you didn't live this life, you about my life. No, idiot. When you watch a movie, yeah. Steven Spielberg, all of these other great guys out here, whoever created these, these, these movies, you think these guys live these things? No, but they, they have great imaginations. Yes. And I think part of what's happened to the craft of hip hop is we keep putting artists in a box. Yeah. See, with me, this is why they had a, a lot of them guys had a problem with me because they could never come to me and say, oh, you didn't live this. No, you can't come to me. I'm, I'm from that. I come from the street. I come from the ghetto, but also, I respect the craft. Yes. So I can do the creativity and I can walk the fine line of talking about real experiences that I've been through. But I feel like some, some individuals, man, we gotta stop putting artists in the box, allow them to use their imaginations. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Be creative and that's where you get some of the best content from. Yes, yes. So that's that, that what we were talking about, the, the, the concept. Sometimes a, a simple concept, like I have songs like, oh, I have, I produced an album with the, the group in Portugal that's um, an, uh, anatomy. It's all parts of the, the body. And the, and the song that I am with him uh, with them is called Body. So the, the concept is rhyming with body parts that right. have expressions <laughs> and then you can sh uh, show your opinion on something as well. Exactly. Uh, it, that's a simple one. It's a creativity you can Yes, do. yes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being creative, man. All artists out there, man. Be creative, don't let no one feel, make you feel like, you know, if you didn't make millions and millions of dollars, you can't rap about money. Yeah. You might talk about currency in a way that might inspire others to want to get money just because yeah. of your creativity. Yes, So yes. allow artists to be creative and, and I appreciate you for, for saying that, man, because I, I see that a lot in hip hop and I, I just want to send that message out there to the young artists. Be creative, be innovative. Yeah. You know, don't let no one make you feel like you got to be from a certain neighborhood or anything. Yeah. Nah. Take yeah. those pictures. Yeah. Man. You know, be prolific. I, I love that, man. Yeah. Word. Word.